A very warm welcome to Agda 247, the official YouTube channel of Bankers Adda and SSCAdda.com. Now today we will discuss a very important topic that is basically uh, related to error detection that is subject to verb agreement. What is it and where do we use it and what are the rules related to this topic? That is all we are going to cover up today. The first thing is subject verb agreement. Now here the subject agrees with the verb or the verb agrees with the subject that means whichever subject we use the verb will be used according to it. So now if we start with the rules directly the first rule says if we have two nouns joined by what and if we have two nouns joined by and then the verb used should be plural for example Ram and Sham are friends. Here in this sentence Ram is a noun and Sham is another noun and which is joined by and. Now here we will use a plural uh, verb why because we are joining two nouns by and but we have an exception to this rule and it says if we have two nouns joined by and but it is considered as a single unit in that case verb used will be singular. So what does the exception say it says if two nouns are joined by and but used as a single unit. It says if two nouns are there and they are joined by and but it is used as a single unit in that case what will we do is we will use the verb in singular form like we have an example slow and steady win the race. If we follow the basic rule that is two noun joined by and if we follow this rule it, it says the verb used should be plural that is win it is correct. But if we go to the exception one two nouns that are treated as a single unit and joined by and this follows wins and not win. So we have an exception to this rule that if two nouns are joined by and and they are used as single unit you will use a singular verb with it and the basic rule says two nouns joined by and should follow a plural verb. Now the second rule says if we have two nouns here as well and these are joined by as well as or in addition to or we have no less than we have with along with together with if we have these any of these words joining two nouns so what kind of verb will be used we have one noun we have another noun and the nouns are joined by any of these words. In this case, the verb that should be used will be according to the first subject. According to the first subject means the verb should agree according to the noun that is used in the first part. For example, I say I know less than you are to be blamed. If I write this sentence you know I have used I as first noun and you as the second subject. In this case the verb that should be used should be according to the first subject and R is never used with I. We will use what? Am. I no less than you am to be blamed for this issue. So the correct sentence goes like this. This is the correct sentence when we have two nouns any of these joined by any of these words in this case the verb used should be according to the first subject. Now here the first subject is, subject is I so we will use am here. Now the third rule says if we have not only neither either plus a noun or a subject plus not only follows but also neither follows nor and either follows or. 
joining any of these nouns or subject if you have any of these correlative conjunctions joining two subjects two nouns then the verb here will be according to the second subject according to the second subject now which is the second subject it should be used according to the second one for example if i say neither the student nor the teacher are going for excursion if i write this sentence we have two nouns that is students and teacher they are joined by neither nor these are two correlative conjunctions now if we are using these any of these the verb used should be according to the second subject and the second subject says teacher which is singular so here we will not write are instead we will use is here so what will be the correct sentence neither the students nor the teacher is going for excursion now moving forward to the fourth rule it says error of proximity should be avoided this is a very common error that we make it says we place an uh, we place a verb according to the subject given near to it which is absolutely incorrect so what it says if i write the sentence the cost of new cars are rising if you find this sentence correct then i would say this is incorrect why now here you saw you saw new cars and according to that you wrote are which is incorrect we are not talking about the car here we are talking about their cost and cost being singular the verb used should be singular as well if we take one more example it says the appearance of his clothes are very bad in this case also the sentence is incorrect why we saw clothes and we wrote are which is incorrect we are not about we are not talking about the clothes here we are talking about the appearance and appearance being singular we will place is here not are so the correct statement is the appearance of his clothes is very bad now when we were talking about either or neither or not only but also when we were making it a pair when we were using it as a correlative conjunction in that case we followed it according to the second subject but sometimes each every neither either these are used apart from nor or or these are used only neither or either in this case what will we do is verb used here should be what singular like if i write either of the boys are allowed to go out now this sentence is incorrect why because i told you when we are using either apart from or like we are not using or in this sentence we are only using either in this case we will not write are we will write is here similarly if i write the sentence each of the students is supposed to participate in games now in this in this sentence we are for starting the sentence with each and the students written no here is correct and i told you when we start a sentence with each we have each here with the subject written that is why we will place verb singular so this is the correct statement either of the boys is allowed to go out or each of the students is supposed to participate in games now the last rule says if we have plural noun used as a single subject what kind of verb will be used noun is plural but the subject it is treated as a single subject in this case what will be used verb used should be what it should be singular like i say if i say 5 million rupees is a huge amount 
we are in uh, uh, is here why because we are treating this 5 million rupees as a huge amount that means it's a singular unit if i write 5000 miles is a long distance so here is is correct why because we are treating 5000 miles as a long distance and treating uh, using a with it treats it as a single subject or a single unit if you like this video do give it a thumbs up like our facebook page subscribe our youtube channel and you can also download our adda 247 app from play store to be up to date now you can also join various courses at various branches all over india thank you